Oh man, you guys have just found something. Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rockhound. Today is Monday. Uh, this will be day one for this week out here north of Grand Junction looking for the barite crystals. This is the same place we were just Saturday. And there's a cow sitting up there. And I wanted to go back to that spot we found on the side of the road that definitely had some good stuff in it. Because after looking around here a bit, it seems like you can sometimes get a few different pods in one zone. And I wanted to maybe scrape a little bit more dirt away and just see if there's more. If I don't find anything, I'm going to search around on some of the hills I haven't searched on yet and see what I can find. Don't have a lot of time, about two, maybe three hours. And yeah, let's get at it and see what we can find today. So our main hole was right there. I decided to scan over. We didn't get a whole lot of calcite there. And I've just been kind of scanning along. I see a little bit of calcite here and there. But it wasn't until here I started seeing some more. And so I decided to just kind of start scraping. <laughs> I started scraping the surface, you know, just up through here. And then when I got here, look at that. I overturned some rocks and look at that. Good vein of calcite right there. Very nice. So that is where you want to dig. You're trying to find those veins of calcite. This is looking really good. You got the nice red, and you got the nice thick vein of calcite. So fingers crossed we find something good in here. So yeah, you can see we've been pulling out some decent chunks of calcite. No terminated crystals, but you just never know what could be right behind any of this. <laughs> Exciting. Just found a terminated calcite crystal that was right there. So here on the left side, and it looks like there's a lot of calcite right here. We're gonna go that way. There's this big chunk of calcite washed off. Yeah. <laughs> yep, definitely lots of calcite here. It is really thick though, not allowing for much space. So I might be hard pressed for barites until it maybe opens up a bit. But yeah, it still looks very promising. Now that's a big, thick vein of calcite. <laughs> yeah, I've been digging away at this and just lots of calcite. Just been stacking up the calcite. Got some good crystals out of it. No barite yet. Decided to take a break from the calcite pocket over there. Come back to the original hole where we were digging the barites. And right in the back I found a little pocket. that had a bunch of tiny crystals. But I moved another rock and I said I got you in there. Look, I found a better pocket behind it. A little bigger. Still very small crystals, but it is better. We'll see if we can't get those out. Here's this one washed off. I thought it was really neat. You got a bunch of little barites all over and a few slightly larger ones. But yeah, all of those are barite crystals. <sighs> Look at them sparkle. I did manage to get a whole bunch of little loose barite crystals. So here's just a little handful of them. And they're really neat. After some very careful work extracting, I got it out. The best part of the pocket, the specimen at the back. Look at that. Look at those little barites right there. Beautiful. Yeah, I'll get it home and cleaned up and that'll look nice. Here's this one washed off. This has a bunch of nice standing barite crystals right here. Hopefully you can see those, but they're really nice. Beautiful crystals. And of course, more Barrett's kind of all over it. Once again, here in the main pocket where we found those Barrett's the other Saturday, I, I took this rock out, that's where my hand is, and exposed all of this. Now that looks like a big calcite crystal. And I think there was a fractured Barrett crystal here that I got a little bit out on that and who knows what else is lying in wait back there here's this one all cleaned off so this used to be an, a complete barrett crystal that had multiple fractures going through it and you can see broken sections out of it and a few other little broken barites around as well pretty neat so i don't know what's about to come out here but I thought just in case it's amazing, why don't I be 
filming it so we can see it together. Come on. Uh, okay, just calcite here so far. <laughs> oh. Here's the crystal. Uh, not as good as I had hoped. Well, something. It's just there was empty space, so I was like, maybe there's a nice crystal of something in here. Let's see if any of these broken pieces down here are buried. No. No. I think that's all calcite. Looks like it's mostly calcite on there. Here's this piece washed off. So you had one barrack crystal this way and one this way, and of course they're both heavily fractured and broken, but still really cool. Here's this broken barrack crystal. It was nice though, because there's one crystal here and one crystal here, but yeah, both are broken. Still really cool. These pieces broke into some nice triangle shapes. And look how clear they are too. Really cool. So this piece was one big piece of barite. It was still a broken crystal, but it was a large piece. And then when I cleaned it off, it all fractured. So this is the first one I've cleaned off where it actively fractured in my hand when I cleaned it. And I'm like, okay, gotta try and do my best to get the right temperature and maybe clean them off in a different way. Anyway, so here's a big piece of the barite. Really nice, isn't it? Look how shiny those are. Smooth and just beautiful crystals. But what's kind of fun is it, it started out as a crystal that wasn't very clear, but it turns out one of the sections when it broke off was just absolutely beautiful, clear. Just, I mean, look at that. This one was just stunning. So I'm kind of happy it broke because then this piece came loose of all the other ones that weren't very clear so that we could appreciate and enjoy how clear this one was. Here's this big chunk of bear right now that it's cleaned off. So I'm glad I caught this because didn't we wouldn't want to leave that there. That's a big piece of bear right. And it's got a nice crystal face here and a little bit here. And just, that's really cool right there. And it's really heavy. <laughs> and it's day two. So yesterday I was digging mostly over there where we had found that one spot and I did a little poking around. But the main thing that happened is as I was walking over some of these hills over this way, I found two spots that looked possible, as in they might have the concretions we're looking for, ones that have just been, you know, fairly recently exposed. Cause out here, this place has been hit so hard, you know? Anything that's been exposed for a while has been dug into. So what you're trying to find is after some recent rain or a lot of precipitation over the winter months, hopefully steeper hills, look for some place where maybe a concretion is just barely getting exposed. Of course, that'll be hard to spot, but that's, that's one way to try and find a, a new spot that hasn't been found. So I've got two possibilities up here I want to go poke into and just see if it's what I think it is if it is the edge of a concretion that got recently exposed. So yeah, I'm gonna head out over that way. Hey, here I am at the first spot. This right here looked promising to me. See all this stuff going down, calcite, and look at the size of this one. And then there's another loose one right there. But it, I can't really point out. So this is where cattle have walked before. You got, and me, there's my footstep, but this is where cattle have been walking before. And as far as I can tell, it doesn't look like anybody's really dug. I mean, maybe, but we had some slope failure here with all the rain. Yeah, this looked like a promising spot to dig. Where's the calcite coming out? Usually it's up from where you see it. Is that another piece of calcite? No, it's just rough. So yeah, I'm gonna just kind of start digging into the dirt through here somewhere. 
I think I'm getting the hang of this. So I went ahead and dug right where that last piece of calcite was. And look at that. Pulled up some rock with some uh, calcite veins in it already. So we're in the right zone. Just broke open this rock that was full of calcite. Yeah, I'll take a closer look at it. See if I see any barite or any good calcite crystals. So I pulled this off and this is definitely the edge of one of the, what they call eggs, that the stuff is in. But it was laying in a funny way, as if it had fallen from somewhere else. Up from there, I pulled that off and this is looking promising. Looks like it's got a little bit of space, definitely got the calcite going through it. So it looks like it might be an egg, or the tip of an egg, which I'm hoping. And it might be this whole thing right here. This, this entire thing might be what we're looking for. I really started digging around at stuff. It feels like it's a, a loose, uh, just a single piece here. And then the pocket used to be down below it, but it was all covered in dirt. So either this was a block that fell from somewhere up and the main pocket is missing, or it had been dug in the past down here and it just got buried so well that you couldn't tell. I wanted to show you that I found a tip of a barite crystal just down there. Now how I know this barite crystal is its weight because it's heavier than calcite and it just kind of looks different. So anyway, yeah, it's just the tip of a barite crystal. And you know, it's already been dug, but sometimes you can kind of poke around the edges and find some little pockets with little crystals that they missed because they went the main pocket that had the bigger crystals. I started here where there was a little loose spot up here with a tiny bit of calcite. And as I dug in, it got worse. And then finally there was a little bit of calcite right here. And when I removed that, I found the edge of a barite crystal. So it's one that didn't get to fully form. And it came out in a few little pieces and the rest of it's on that. So there was a little bit of a barite there. So how I know this barite is because it's a crystal face and see how smooth that is? The calcite isn't that smooth. So, and of course it's heavy. This kind of cool looking crystal that tra trapped itself in the rock. You can see how it grew into the rock there and around it. Kind of cool. I mean, it's just calcite, it's not barite, but still it's pretty cool. And that is why you wear gloves out here and usually dig with a pick. Give you some distance so that these scorpions don't sting you. Oh man, you guys, I just found something. I've been moving a bunch of rock and right here, pulled this up. Pulled this out that had that darker color in it, which is a good indicator. And then I pulled this up. Look at that. Look at that barret crystal sitting right on top of there. This is probably my best specimen now, so far. Ooh, exciting. Hmm, a little fractured. It was really close to where they were digging, so may have been exposed a little bit, but yeah, that's still so exciting. And who knows what more may be down there. Here's that big one cleaned off. So it is a nice big crystal. Look at that, double terminated. Got one edge here, goes to there. And then you got another crystal underneath it here and a broken, another broken one here. And so it does have a few breaks. You can see the fractures going through it, that's unfortunate. But overall, I'd say that's a pretty decent specimen. That nice barite just there in the matrix. Oh, and there's a little bit over here too. So I've been digging for a while, I've moved a lot of stuff. I pulled out lots of like broken pieces and ed just like partially formed barites. But then I just thought I'd bring you in to show you that cool one just sitting right there. Also, it looks like it didn't quite fully form or it's broken. And then a little bit there, calcite here. So, yeah, just got it out. That's how it looks. Got a nice little crystal. Sorry, too close. Got a nice little crystal there, a little larger one there, and just kind of a couple of them all run together. Really cool. And maybe more stuff behind it. We'll see. There's this one cleaned off. You got two fully terminated crystals right there on the end. Unfortunately, that one is broken right there. But otherwise, it's really nice. Well, I got a pile of potential stuff here. So a lot of it's really dirty and I can't tell, so I'm just gonna take it home and wash it all off. But yeah, that's the uh, overall end of the pocket that I've been digging. As in, that's where I'm ending today. It probably still keeps going down, but it's getting hard going and the daylight's running out. It's sun starting to set. So 
this looks like a good place to stop for now. And I'm gonna have probably a lot of stuff to show you once I wash everything off, because I don't actually know what's all in there. Here's this washed off. It was really interesting. It had this nice terminated calcite crystal right in it. I thought it was just kind of neat. Here's this little crystal cleaned off. Nice and terminated. Just a tiny little thing, but really nice. Here's this piece all cleaned off. Got a nice barite right here. Actually, I think it's two crystals kind of run into each other. Still really nice. And then you've got the one barite here that's unfortunately broken. It's still really pretty. It's day three. Today, it's overcast, cloudy. We're supposed to have some uh, stormy weather coming in tomorrow and Friday, so this will be the last day this week after work. So day three and that's it. But that's fine. We've pulled out some good stuff over, the, over these last two days, haven't we? So that's exciting. So I was thinking about today, I've only got two hours. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go back to that pocket I was dig digging yesterday, the one that somebody had already dug, but I managed to pull out that cool crystal on the matrix. And I think there might be more stuff if I go down. I don't know for sure. It was, it was getting kind of dark and I had to kind of leave in a rush. So I think that's a good place to start today. And if it keeps going, we'll just do that and that's probably where we'll end it. Otherwise we might walk around a little bit. So that's the plan for today. So I've got to walk over I gotta go over three ridges and then I'll be at the spot I was digging. Looks like I got sidetracked. So my vehicle is just on the other side of that ridge right in front of me. And I saw this. It's a place, you know, where people have dug before. But once again, I couldn't hear it and there was an exposed vein just sitting there. So I was like, I'm gonna dig down. I dug down, hitting a nice vein of calcite here. And then there's this empty gap right here that already kind of filled in, but between the vein of calcite, see that's all calcite, and that empty spot, I'm like, hmm, I should probably stop a moment and dig here. Well, there's what looks like the edge of a crystal or two crystals. Is it calcite or barite? Let's get it out. Look at that, it's broken. I think it's calcite, personally. <laughs> Working it out, and yeah. That looks like calcite, but look at that darker stuff. Ooh, it's heavy. Mmm. All right. That's always a good indicator when you got that darker color that you might have some barite. It's heavy. And I'm not sure if it's heavy because there is barite in it or if it's because of the iron concentration. Really cool, though. Oh, there's a, there's a crystal right there. That might be barite. So it's full of clay, but I have been occasionally pulling out some crystals that are heavier, so they're probably some uh, barite crystals either partially formed or broken. And I can't see them all, but I've got, I've pulled out like five or six like that so far. This whole thing just came loose. And the stuff I've been following was along the edge, you know, going through this. So here we go. I'm going to just like set you down somewhere. I forgot to bring the tripod today. Here we go. All I see is dirt underneath. So I'm breaking the rock that was behind the one I moved right here. And that is some good sized calcite. That's exciting. Let's see if we've got anything in here, huh? It's got a lot of stuff on it. Maybe we'll hold on to that. Yep, there's a chunk. Another chunk. Another chunk. See anything that looks like barite? Mm, maybe. No, that's probably calcite. Another chunk. So many chunks in here. So many. But 
Where's the Barret? There's a nice chunk too. Probably gonna have to take quite a bit of this home just because uh, those those pieces, those big chunks might have something on them. Fun. Yeah, just don't know. Hmm. Let's get this wall down. Nope, oh, calcite. More calcite all over. It's just everywhere. Now, see, that looks like it might have a barite crystal inside of it. Yeah, hmm. I don't know. Let's grab a bunch of these. See, that might be something. Now, I think I mostly cleaned out all the stuff that was here and <laughs> piled it all around here. The wind's picking up, the sun's getting low. And I've got to quickly go through these and find out what's worth keeping. Here's this one washed off. It is a terminated crystal, kind of a, a large stubby one. But unfortunately it ran into the other side here and it's got fractures and a few breaks on it. Otherwise it's pretty nice. Here's this little one all cleaned off. It's got a little bit of that darker color in it. Of a, a brown. Here's this one all cleaned off. It's just the tip of a crystal. So it had broken off of the rest of the crystal, so it's just the very tip. Here's this one cleaned off. So you can see it's a terminated crystal with some fractures. Still very nice. Here's this one cleaned off. Looked pretty cool because that was the tip of a crystal that would have been down here. But it stuck to this, and so it has kind of a cool look to it. There's this one cleaned off. It's a twin crystal. So you can see there's the tip of one. Here's the tip of the other. So two crystals. Here's this one cleaned off. It's two crystals that grew right next to each other. So you can see the tips of both here. Now well, made it back to the vehicle, and the sun is setting over there. So good timing. Again, another good day. Now, I haven't seen everything washed off, but you guys will have already seen it all and know how good it actually was or wasn't. I think it turned out pretty well. Definitely want to expose that pocket in the back. I really think there was a large barite in there that was just shattered because I kept picking up these little pieces that I'm pretty darn sure are barite. Anyway, you guys already know, so yeah great day great trio of days and remember there is treasure everywhere <laughs>